dear students please note down the pdf file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture please download your notes dear students in today's lecture we will cover two important topics of fourth form body ball and body silom dear students two important topics of fourth form ferritima posthuma first of all we will discuss body wall and that body wall consists of four components cuticle second part is epidermis third one is muscular layer or musculature and its fourth component is parietal peritoneum dear students body wall of fourth form having four components its first which is outermost part and this layer is cuticle it is thin it is delicate layer which is non cellular and this cuticle it is secreted by this underlying epithelium it is epidermis which secretes this chitinous layer which is cuticle which covers the entire body externally the second component of this body wall that is epidermis and this epidermis it is a single layer of cells dear students its cells are almost elongated columnar and this epidermis always rests on a basement membrane this epidermis which secretes this chitinous outer lining which is cuticle and in this epidermis four types of cells are studied first type of cells are spotting cells in epidermis the elongated the columnar the cells which involve in mechanical strength which provide mechanical spot first type of cells are spotting cells second type of cells in this epidermis are secretory in nature these are glandular cells and these glandular cells are further of two types some are mucus secreting goblet cells and some of these glandular cells secrete albumin so these glandular cells are of two types mucus secreting goblet cells and albumin cells third type of epidermal cells these are basal cells dear students these basal cells secrete both spotting cells and glandular cells and fourth fourth type of cells which which are present in this epidermis which are sensory in nature these are receptor cells and these receptor cells having sensory here to receive external stimuli it means in body wall we have discussed two components first cuticle it is a thin delicate which is non cellular chitinous in nature and this cuticle is secreted by this underlying epidermis and dear students this second component of this body wall that is epidermis and this epidermis which is a single layer which is cellular in nature and these cells are elongated columnar cells and in this epidermis four types of cells are studied some are spotting cells some are glandular secretory cells and dear student third type of cells which are basal cells which involve in the secretion of both spotting and glandular cells and the four type of cells in this epidermis are sensory nature these are receptor cells having sensory ear to receive external stimuli and this epidermis always rests on a basement membrane the third component of this body wall very important topic for bsc students dear students this third component that that is musculature 
muscular layer and in this component two types of well developed muscles in outer region these are circular muscles and in inner parts the bundles of longitudinal muscles are present dear students in body wall the musculature having both types of well developed muscles circular muscles as well as bundles of longitudinal muscles these structures these are chitinous structures these are seta or keta which assist in movements and locomo locomotion and each seta embedded in in this a sac it is setal sac and these seta are secreted by a cell setal cell setigerous cell present on this basal part these seta are under control of two sets of muscles dear students this basal part of this seta or setal sac associates with two sets of muscles first set is protract protractor muscles and the contraction of these protractor muscles the seta gets protruded out and dear student the contraction of this retractor muscle the seta the gets withdrawn in this setal sac it means the movements of these seta under control of two sets of muscles protractor muscle as a result the seta gets protruded out and these are withdrawn by the contraction of this second set of muscle which is retractor muscles the fourth component of this body wall this one is it is parietal peritoneum and this parietal peritoneum this is the innermost lining of this body wall or dear students this parietal peritoneum it is outer lining of this ciliary body ciliary body cavity and this parietal peritoneum it secretes ciliary fluid that is milkish in nature dear students note down this is the diagram of transverse section body wall of earthworm and the body wall body wall of earthworm having four components cuticle then dear students single layer of cells this one is epidermis and this epidermis always rests on basement membrane third component of this body wall muscle layers musculature two sets of muscles and both types of muscles circular as well as longitudinal muscles are well developed and two sets of muscles which associate with seta protractor muscles and retractor muscles the contraction of these protractor muscles seta gets protruded out and the contraction of this retractor muscle the seta gets withdrawn in this setal sac and the fourth component of this body wall this one is parietal peritoneum this is the innermost lining of this body wall dear students next important topic of the in today's lecture that is ciliary body cavity of earthworm look at in this diagram very clear in earthworm in annelids true ciliary is present dear students true ciliary is present and this ciliary is cyzocele it means this ciliary is derived from mesoderm it develops due to splitting of this mesoderm 
and during embryonic stages this ectoderm it gives rise outer outer parts outer regions and this mesoderm due to splitting of this mesoderm this entire coelom develops and this coelom which develops a space between the body wall and body organs viscera elementary canal so this coelom or this cavity or this space is peri visceral cavity its outer lining is not down not down competition students this coelom's its outer lining which is mesodermal in origin as well as its inner lining is mesodermal this outer lining of mesoderm it is parietal peritoneum not down and this inner lining of this coelom which is again mesodermal in origin and it is visceral peritoneum outer lining of coelom is parietal peritoneum and dear students this inner lining it is visceral peritoneum and this entire space cavity is coelom it is cytosyl as it is derived from mesoderm it develops due to splitting of mesoderm its outer as well as inner lining both linings are mesodermal in origin this outer layer is parietal peritoneum and this inner layer is visceral peritoneum and this cavity this coelom parivisceral cavity it is filled with a fluid that coelomic fluid it is milky in nature and that coelomic fluid consists of four types of cells corpus cells not down first type of cells are phagocytes dear students these are amebocytes amoeboid cells granulocytes as in these cells some granules are present their shape and their activities like amoeba cells these are amoeboid cells which are phagocytic in nature as these cells engulf the harmful pathogens second type of cells these are mucocytes dear students these second type of cells are mucocytes which are fan shaped and their functions and third type of cells these are small circular cells their cytoplasm is clear and their functions again unknown but four types of cells which are very important for all competitive and bsc students these special type of cells which are star shaped small star shaped cells and these cells are named chloragogan cells not down not down very important point these cells which are small star shaped cell yellowish in color when these are stained in iodine solution they become yellowish in color and these cells special type of cells which are excretory in function these are named chloragogan cells dear students these are they get stained in iodine solution so these are named yellow cells or chloragogan cells or these are excretory in function these are excretory cells this is all about body wall of earthworm as well as coelom of earthworm dear students in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss very important topic digestive system of earthworm